there guys, my name is Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. So I've just got back from seeing this film, it is called Berlin Syndrome and if you haven't heard of it, it is an Australian film that features Teresa Palmer. If you guys know Lights Out, uh, you probably find her very familiar. She's an Australian actress and this film, it is a bit intense. That's I don't even know how to say it. It's it's pretty gut-wrenching. So I want to be clear before I get into it that this film is not a horror. It is more of a thriller drama and it does have horrific fucking elements, horrific imagery, horrific scenes, but it is not a horror by any means. It's just one of those disturbing films that I really like talking about. Uh, so this is a partnership obviously with Australia and I'm not sure if it would just be Germany, but yeah, it's a partnership film and the title is pretty self-explanatory. Berlin Syndrome is a play on the phrase, or what do you even call it, the syndrome? Uh, Stockingham Syndrome, which I'm sure you guys all know about. It's when someone sympathizes with their captor. But this one is a little bit different. So in this film, an Australian tourist goes to Berlin and uh, gets herself into a sticky situation with a local man there and going to his home. So I want to say that it is predictable in the way that obviously you know what's going to happen, it says it in the name, so I think that it's all set up for you and what I really like about this film is it's not really about, you know, her getting out of the situation, what's actually happening, if people are looking for her and all that kind of stuff. It's about seeing the situation through her eyes and her perspective and also a little bit of seeing it through the captor's eyes. I don't know, like, it's just a little bit of a backstory, but it doesn't go really into it, but it's more about the journey, what the fuck, like, journey when you're trapped inside a house, um, and it is more of an emotional, slow building story, and I would really relate this movie to Room, if you've seen that, you guys know I love that film, it's one of my favorite films of all time, completely ruined me, and like that film, this film is actually based on a novel, uh, I have not read the book, and I would be actually really interested to read the book after watching this film, because I really, really enjoy it. Something that I actually really disliked and liked about the film at the same time, if that makes any sense, is there were some certain moments and details that were missing, so they would go into complete detail about, like, you know, one chunk of what happens when she's in there, but then they would miss, like, a really um, crucial part and she would just be doing something else and you would have to kind of, like, figure out why she was there kind of thing. I mean, it's not hard by any means. It's not dumbing down the audience either, which is really great, but it's also, like, I don't know, like, you're kind of missing those details, but at the same same time, I also like the fact that they didn't fill in all the gaps and they didn't make it very Hollywood that way. I mean, technically this is a foreign film, so I think it was really cool that they did it that way and it was kind of more like I would assume the novel is, which I really liked. It's always good to have those like points of difference with um, Hollywood films and these kind of like thrillers because it really um, builds the tension in a different way and makes it, you know, a little bit off point so it's a little bit like, whoa, what's gonna happen next? Another thing I really liked about this film, um, that it's not really a spoiler, but I did think that it was important for me to tell you guys, and it would definitely give you a um, sense if you would like this film or not, is that it does have, not like a wraparound ending, but it does have an ending that is worth it. Do you know what I mean? There's parts of the film where you feel like it could just end there, it could just end there, it could just end there. It's not really necessarily about what happens to her in the end. Does she live? Does she die? It's not about that. It's about her, you know, her evolving in this space and her, like, losing her sanity. Um, but I do like that they did finish it off in a really good way. I thought the ending was really nice. Um, or... I don't know, gut wrenching. But I did find myself almost crying towards the end because it was such an emotional roller coaster of a film. And I think that um, Therese Palmer played the main character so well, and you really felt all her emotions. And um, I don't know, you kind of went insane with her. And it made me feel very vulnerable and um, very scared as a woman, which I think is definitely a good sign of the actress and of the director. Um, obviously, this film looks beautiful as well. It's shot in Berlin. Uh, I have been to Berlin before and I definitely have a different view on it now, which is really bad. I don't want to think of it like that, but uh, it's very beautiful scenery. Um, there's parts where it's snowing. It's just a beautiful foreign film, to be honest. The imagery is on point. The lighting is great. The colors, I don't know, I guess they make you feel a certain way. Uh, when it's winter, it's like very bluish tones everywhere. I felt myself feeling like really cold in the cinema and I thought it did really well with the mooding. Um, also, there was a slight um, moment where I did notice the score. They definitely have a recurring um, song that they use throughout the film, which I thought was really clever. Um, but they also use a lot of really um, classic 
I don't know, tension building song, so I'm sure you guys will recognize all of them when they come along. Uh, but they did a really good um, German version of a really popular song in the film and it kind of like spread itself through it and it gives me chills even thinking about it. Oh, it was it was really good. As you can tell, I really like this film and I'm really glad that I got to go see this at the cinema and support Australian film. You guys know I'm really into stalker films, I'm really into thrillers, and this really had it all for me. I love this film and I drove away from the cinema thinking about it and it still kind of like makes me like tear up. It was just such an emotional, gut-wrenching film, but it is a slow burn. I'm gonna give this film an eight out of 10. Uh, personal score and that's the thing personal because this is personally like the kind of films that I love originality I'm gonna have to give it five I thought that it was a super um, average story I guess it was told in a really cool way but I wouldn't say it's like a hundred percent different and I did say that it reminded me of the room so obviously it's not completely original um, and for scare score I'm gonna give it like a two it had a lot of tension building and it had one scene that was super gory um, but other than that I think that it wasn't super scary and I would totally recommend it to anyone who just likes thrillers and doesn't like horrors. If you like films about girls being captive and psycho men that are very complicated and in complicated situations and you don't like to be dumbed down as an audience this definitely is a film for you. If you like slow burns this is the one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Also I should mention a lot of people have been commenting on my videos saying oh you're back where did you go I haven't gone anywhere I've still been doing videos this whole fucking time so if you've been missing my videos I don't know YouTube sometimes does some weird stuff um, make sure you hit that bell oh my god I can't believe I'm saying this that bell next to the subscribe button and then you'll be notified of when I upload and maybe that will help you out anyway I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you very soon stay spooky bye and never go to a second location <laughs>